Namaste everyone. Thank you very much for checking out this video. So in this one, I'm going to tell you how with the help of Terraform code, you can create a full fledged virtual machine on Microsoft Azure. So this VS code on which you are able to see this Terraform code is right now connected to my Azure portal. And let me just explain you, uh, you know, this code, all the lines which I have written over here. So that's the file which I have all the code inside. And you know, uh, the first thing which I define here is the source of Azure, you know, who is providing me uh, the Terraform. So it's HashiCorp Azure RM. Then we have this providers feature over here. After that, I have defined the resource group. You know, I would like to, uh, I would like this code to create for me a resource group with name Facebook. So because I've already tried this code on, uh, you know, on Azure. So I have this Facebook named resource group present over there. So let me do one thing. Let me just change this to something else so that, you know, it doesn't conflict with the existing one. And at the end, I really do not want to get any kind of error. So I'm changing it to Google face, right? And let me just use a small f over here so it's google face right and i'm going to define okay for location i have used east asia because when i selected central india it was not allowing me to create uh, a resource group over there so that's the reason i changed it to uh, east asia and now i need to change the virtual networks name also so i'm changing it to google uh, face VPN okay so my virtual network uh, virtual networks name is Google face VPN and that's the address it will get created on right it will take this uh, IP address let's come down so that's the subnet subnets name I need to change this also because a subnet with this name already exists on my Azure so I'm changing it to Google face sub right and that's the address prefix of this subnet then we have this public ip address and i need to change this one to so i'm changing it to public google fb right and it's going to be a static ip address then we have this uh, azure load balancer i'm changing it to google face load right so everything which which will start with google is going to be created by this code okay public ip address that's completely fine uh, backend address pool okay if you want we can change this also but there is no requirement of changing uh, you know these things then we have this managed disk over here right so these are some very important thing you need to define for uh, creating a virtual machine now this is the availability availability set over here so let me just change its name to uh, google face set so you can write this whole code and you know if you will try to find it on google definitely you will be able to you know uh, find it very easily right i have taken this code from a microsoft website only so it will not be a problem for you to take this code to find this code on uh, the internet but uh, you know when you are working on code any any type of code whether it is a dotnet code or python code try to make sure that you have the understanding of each and every line which is there in the code right because if you will not have the understanding of these lines and in future if you will come across uh, you know any issues or you get any customer in hand who asks you to resolve issues with this code maybe possible you might may not be able to resolve his issues so it's uh, make sure that you have the clear understanding of each and everything that you are using for uh, you know your projects okay so i am good to go with this code and let me just come on my i haven't saved it yeah so coming back on my azure portal here i need to find out the you know tenant id for my subscription so for that i need to search 
Azure Active Directory. I hope you guys know about it. If you don't know, please do learn uh, about Azure Active Directory. Definitely, it's going to help you a lot. No result were found with Azure. Why it's not able to give me a directory? Just a second. Let me check with this. Yeah, that's the one I was looking for. And here in this Azure Active Directory, I will be able to find my tenant ID. But why I need my tenant ID? Because, you know, uh, on VS Code, I need to first connect uh, it to my Azure portal. Now, because I earlier was I was using a free trial. Right now, also, I'm using a free trial. But, you know, just because there are two versions of Azure I'm using with the same ID, that's the reason I need to az login i need to mention here tenant otherwise you know it will pick up the incorrect one and on that the right action is disabled and i really don't know how to enable it or maybe i'm, I'm trying to do it but i was not able to do it so that is the reason i use this tenant id so that I can use the one in which I have some, uh, you know, credit. Okay, so it has redirected me uh, to this browser, default browser. And here I need to log in first into my uh, Azure account. Okay, so uh, you have logged into Microsoft Azure. It's time for us to come back on VS Code and let's see whether it will be able to connect itself with uh, the subscription the tenant ID of which I mentioned. Yeah, so this is the one which I just mentioned and I was able to connect VS Code with this subscription. It's time for us to fire some basic Terraform command and the first one is FMT. So as to check out the format of main.pf, whether the code which I have written here inside this file, is it correctly written or not? So this FMT is, uh, FMT stands for format. Let me just tell you that. So yes, uh, everything in this file is correctly defined. It's time for us to initiate uh, the Terraform. So that's the command with the help of which we can do it very easily. Right, I hope I uh, you know about these commands. I've already told you about these commands many times in the past. Uh, if you don't know about these commands, do check out the previous tutorials which I posted on Terraform uh, earlier. You will come to know about everything and let me just tell you one thing that currently I'm offering courses for almost everything, whether you talk about mobile application development or web development or, uh, you know, uh, anything related to coding, you can get here uh, on my platform, you can get from me. So if you want to learn these kind of things, you can contact me on the number which is getting reflected on your screen. Okay, so the command got successfully executed. It's time for us to uh, plan the main.tf file and that's the command with the help of which we can do it so you know these commands should be on your fingertips may be possible that tomorrow if someone asks you about these commands or someone asks you to just deploy a virtual machine for him on azure so you can do it very easily without referring to any notes or something like that right so just give it a short moment uh, we'll be able to see uh, the output very soon okay so the command got executed successfully and you know here is the output so that's uh, these are all things which I am which the command has given me right the license is there and everything is present so it's good to go. It's time for me to apply uh, the changes. So for that, the command is just a second. I think I'll be able to fetch it over here. Yeah, Terraform apply main tf plan. And so now it's going to take a bit of time because uh, this command will directly create a full-fledged resource group and everything required for a virtual machine on Azure, right? So just hold on for some time. It may take uh, one or two minutes. So if you want, you can quickly grab a cup of coffee or tea for you, right? By the time I'm checking the code, whether it's going to work. 
or not okay these uh, this is our operating system uh, login credentials right if it asks for login credentials you can just type in this you know the virtual machine which uh, this code will create on uh, microsoft azure so that's these are the login credentials using which you can log in into that particular virtual machine so you know that's that's what uh, the understanding you should have so that you can also explain every each and everything you have used for uh, your project in your project to other people okay so you can see the resource group is getting created right now and there are some more lines which we are going to see very soon okay so these resource groups and availability set then managed disk public ip everything whatever we have defined the code for so the code is working it's uh, it's doing the code is doing its job and we are going to get the output very soon finger crossed which i do not want to get any type of error So you can see how simple it is to create a virtual machine using Terraform on Azure, right? Azure is a cloud computing platform and Terraform is something with the help of which you can code your infrastructure. Suppose you're running your business and you want to put that, you want to migrate it to Azure, definitely. Terraform is one of the brilliant things, one of the most amazing things you can use for coding your infrastructure and migrating it to Azure. Right, so if you haven't tried it yet, I would like you guys to just try out this simple code. You can easily find it anywhere on Google. Just type, uh, just type this thing, create virtual machine using Terraform code and you will find number of sites on which you will get to see this code. But make sure before running the code, before applying the code, you have the clear cut understanding of each and every line of code, right? And in case you need any help, you need any assistance, you can definitely contact me on the number which is getting reflected on your screen right now. Fine, so let's uh, enjoy these lines and maybe with the next couple of minutes, we'll be able to see a virtual machine on Azure. Okay, so apply complete resources, 13 added and zero change and zero destroyed. Let's see whether uh, we have a virtual machine on Azure or not. So for that, we'll have to Azure. Okay, let's type virtual machines. So our virtual machine name was Google something, right? Okay, so it has created for us these two. These are the resource groups, sorry. Uh, our resource groups name was Google Face, right? So it's there and it's, a it's on a Linux operating system. Let me check what do we have inside it. So, okay. Fine, so subscription is this and okay, everything is good to go. And these are some things, you know, these are two virtual machines which are right now present inside this resource group called Google Face, right? So, you know, that's how Terraform makes it easier for you to code uh, infrastructure for Azure. I hope you guys liked this lecture a lot. Do not forget to like and share this video in your groups and make it reach to the maximum students possible so that they can also come and enjoy these uh, full-fledged, amazingly awesome Terraform and you know uh, other quotes on my platform. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Take care and have a great day ahead.